Which have been found in the search for the 10 year old North Carolina girl. Where is the rest of her body? Bone. A bone. Recovered a bone, a child's bone. I have told the cops everything I know about what's happened to Zara. This is a little girl. I can actually hear more than without my hearing. Who has been discarded piece by piece. They discarded her mattress. DNA evidence on the mattress is now in the lab being tested. They discarded her prosthetic leg. Investigators have discovered a prosthetic leg. What kind of insanity would allow people to just take her leg? And now the discovery of possible human remains. They're getting closer and closer. In hopes that we can come to some kind of conclusion to this investigation and bring peace to Zara. We are taking your calls out to the lines. Deborah in South Carolina. Hi, Deborah. Lori in Maryland. Hi, Lori. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? You know, Nancy, this, I think this is one of the saddest cases out of all the missing children. This is, with the way that she has lived her life with this illness, this is the saddest and the most heartbreaking thing ever. Um, I'm just wondering about the parents. I know that the father's out of jail now and the stepmother's in jail, but what exactly are they saying? What has happened to Zara? Is the father out trying to look for his daughter? Or is Lori, he, he has not gone on a single search. The most he has done is put a flyer in his car window, taped it on, that attacks the mother. That's the stepmother. This is something about Zara was abused her whole life by Alyssa Baker. He was in the house. He didn't know where those black eyes were coming from. Liz, show me that shot of her with the black eye. Come on. That is what he has done to help find Zara. John Miller, do you know of anything else? I mean, when cops say, be at this place at this time, he shows up for that. But other than that, nothing. Well, we do know from talking to the police yesterday before they stopped talking to the media that through one of our reporters, Sarah Newell, she has told... He uh, talked she to was police. Told that yes, I know. Baker, he talked to police. Yes. <clears throat> talked to police and is having ongoing conversations with police. And so that wasn't happening last week. So we also found out today that uh, he was down at the police station. Oh, and see, so that means that there is some cooperation going on. We just don't know what's being said. You know, I don't know if it's so much cooperation or they're weaving a web around him. Remember, Casey Anthony talked to police, too, at their request. What about it, Jake Casares? No, I agree. I don't necessarily think it's cooperation. I think it is very interesting, though, that less than 24 hours of when they find what is being reported to be part of, part of the body of Zara Baker, that they want to talk to him at the police department. Alexis Wee, what can you tell me about the new search? About the new search, Nancy? Yes. The, today they were searching on Christie Road that's located about five miles from where the search and excavation took place yesterday. And what's notable to point out about that location today, Nancy, is that investigators previously said that they had finished their investigation at that location. They had tied it up, but they went back there today. They said that perhaps something that they found yesterday led them back to that location. And tell me the timing again, Jinkasaurus of when the father, Adam Baker, is speaking to the cops and when they go to these various locations? It was today. Your producer, shortly before air, learned that today, this afternoon, Adam Baker was meeting with police and his attorney at the police department in Hickory, and it was yesterday, midday, that this evidence that they believe can be highly significant, reports are part of a body, and it would be a little body, Nancy, a five-foot-one, 85-pound, 10-year-old girl. Reports are that a little body was found part in that hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out to the lines, Jan in Arkansas. Hi, Jan. Hi, Nancy. I've got a question. Uh, Zara's biologic, biological uh, little mother, uh, what about her? Has, does she know anything about this? No. Uh, Jan, apparently she has just jetted in from Australia. We have reason to believe a camera crew, a news crew, paid for her flight. Which, you know what, I think the mother doesn't have anything. And if that's the only way she could get here, that's how she got here. 
Long story short, she's been in Australia this whole time. She doesn't know anything. According to her, she didn't even know where her daughter was. So I doubt she knows about what happened to her. To Dolores in New York. Hi, Dolores. Do I have Dolores in New York with me? Yes. Hi, dear. What's your question? I was wondering how old was Dora when she lost her leg? Good question. What do we know about that, Jenga Sars? Do we know? I could. What's the question? Tell me How again. old was Zara when she lost her leg? She was in Australia. She was very young. She had bone cancer, and that then resulted in the loss of her leg. After that was lung cancer, but she was a very little girl. I, it's my understanding she was between four and five years old when she lost her leg. Um, we can't confirm that because this girl. occurred, yeah, this occurred in Australia. To Joe in Delaware. Hi, Joe. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? I'm good, dear. What's your question? Um, I was sort of wanted to see if Pop Brown might have um, a profile on the couple, Adam and Elisa, if there was one that dominant, just from the what you've said on TV, Elisa, Elisa Baker seems very childlike, very, like, rep repressed. And I didn't know if, like, Adam, even though he seems, is he the dominant one? Where, what is the relationship? Good question. Weigh in, Pat Brown. Well, in this particular case, I think Lissa, she's more of the Munchausen syndrome and Munchausen syndrome by proxy type. She likes a lot of attention. And that kind of woman likes a man she can manipulate who will kind of be adult and go along with her because he wants to keep the woman more than he wants to keep the children.